Live from News Channel 8, this is Toyota Sports Talk. Welcome back to Sports Talk as practice came to a close today at Redskins Park. Little did we know that the emotions inside were just starting to flow. There was an afternoon, afternoon meeting. It was so much more important than X's and O's. RG3 welcomed a very special visitor. Suffice to say, they are now friends for life. Practice had just ended and Robert Griffin III had a statement to make. I uh, just met a real special individual um, that was uh, in the, the conference room with us a couple seconds ago. A few hundred yards away were Kate Dunn and her mom Amanda. We met uh, Robert who was just a, a fabulous young man. Like a dream. I'm not even sure that I'm like not dead and in heaven right now, but you know, <laughs> it's pretty good. Kate is 16 years old. Her idol is RG3. She loved playing football too, but she suffered from a malformation of the brain and two years ago, Kate had surgery to remove part of her skull. Her football days were done, and she was crushed. When we would be sitting up at night trying to save her, it would be like, what would IG3 do, Kate? Would he just lay down and give up, or would he get up and fight? So Kate fought with RG3 always in her thoughts. Seeing him go out there and, I don't know, just get through so much, just like me. Robert had never heard of Kate and her story, but she wanted to thank him, so she wrote him a letter. I've been getting it around my pocket for about a year now. Recently, Kate reached out to Robert on Twitter. He responded and invited Kate to Redskins Park. Today was the day. I just kind of covered my face and tried to remember how to breathe. Sure enough, she gave Robert the letter. I had managed to get my daughter to this moment when there had been so many dark times that I didn't think that she would make it. Kate is now coaching football and nursing a knee injury of her own. She left the park with a signed football and so much more. Just a story about why we do what we do as athletes. Uh, it's, it's, it's for people that we don't know are watching. Just to get to talk to him and let him know that, you know, how much of an impact he has on people was really good. Very nice today at Redskins Park. I'm thrilled and honored to be joined by Kate and her mom, Amanda. Thank you so much, Kate. Hi. Hi, Amanda. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, you've had about eight hours now to digest all of this. How are you holding up? Um, still hasn't sunk in yet. Still really shocked. Happy. Uh, uh, Mom, how are you doing? Good. It's been a whirlwind day, but uh, very magical. Okay. You, you had waited so long for this, Kate, to be carrying around the letter, which I think, did you say it was eight pages long? Yes. Eight pages. Uh, to finally see him, meet him, talk to him. I like how he sort of rubbed your back there. What'd that mean? A lot. Just words can't even describe how um, happy I am right now and just complete. I feel like um, relieved. Complete, that's a good way to put it. Uh, we talked to RG3, you saw the piece. He, he came out and we're psyched and I'm gonna ask him about John Gruden and how Santana Moss looks and all of these things that we think are so important. And he says he wants to give a statement. He talks about meeting you. And then I say to him, did you read the letter yet? And he says, I haven't had time to read the letter because I had to go back in, meet you, spend time with you, come back out and deal with the media. Um, I think by now RG3, I hope, has had time to read the letter. Uh, we have a special guest on the phone tonight. Uh, we take calls from viewers all the time here on Toyota Sports Talk. Uh, Robert Griffin III is on the line. RG, how you doing, my man? I'm doing good, brother. How you doing? Uh, I'm good. Uh, you, you've probably heard Kate and Amanda here. Kate just said yeah. she feels complete now that she has met you. That is some heavy stuff, uh, Robert. How do you sort of reconcile uh, today? Yeah, man, that is some heavy stuff. And, um, you know, having had a chance to, to read the letter, um, or as I told her, it looked more like a manuscript. Um, but uh, having a chance to read that, you know, it just added to the weight of, uh, of meeting her and, and having a chance to, to hear her story. Uh, Kate, anything you want to say to Robert? You thought you were, you thought you were done with this guy at about 1.15 today. But we won't let it go here on Sports Talk. Uh, <laughs> but what do you want to say to Robert? Thank you for everything. <laughs> Amanda. 
you were there today. We talked to you right after the meeting in the yep. parking lot there. Mm -hmm. um, what do you make of, of today? And, and now Robert has called in again to sort of keep this, you know, this, this dream going. Just reiterate what Kate said. Thank you, Robert, for um, being Kate's motivation. And I hope that she pays it forward and makes, it, makes herself and his story a motivation for other people who are going through dark times, too. Thank you. Uh, Robert. Um, it struck me today when you walked out, and it was so cryptic, and I thought to myself, what and who is he talking about? <laughs> um, for you to have so many people that you don't know, she's not the only person out there that idolizes you and sort of lives vicariously through you. For you to have so many people out there look at you in this way as this sort of beacon, what does that mean to you, and how do you deal with that? Uh, you know, it's, you, you, try to, you try to do the right things, and... And, uh, you know, try to be yourself and live your life. And um, it, it's people like Kate who come and tell you, uh, have a chance to get to talk to you and, and, and tell you how they feel and let you know that you're doing something right. Um, you know, it, I'll read a part of the letter. Um, you know, I'll keep a lot of it private. But he said, I knew that Robert Griffin III was my miracle from God. This godlike man was truly a miracle who turned my life around more than any medication or therapist ever could. And at the very end of, the, of this uh, letter, she wrote, words on a paper can express the emotion that people can, no matter how many times I edit it. And what I'd say to Kate is, having met you and been able to, to hear your story uh, in person and then going back and reading this letter, uh, I think you got your point across to me. And you know, it, it just echoes the call for me to continue uh, to do the things I do in the community and be the person that I am. Uh, because there are people out there who I don't know. There are people out there who I don't know are watching or listening or, uh, or idolizing uh, athletes like myself. And uh, anytime we can influence those people in a positive way uh, to change their lives, that's, that's what I'm all about. Robert Griffin III, thank you for calling in. More importantly, thank you for making Kate and Amanda's life, frankly. She is complete now. Thanks to you. Say bye to Robert. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no you, problem, Robert. Guys. Uh, take care. We will see you soon. We will have more sports talk right after this. As you saw in the story, uh, Kate left with a football signed by RG3. Kate, what does that say on the ball? Go catch your dream. Go catch your dream. Uh, what's your dream now? We've got about 30 seconds left. Coach the NFL. Coach the NFL. You're a coach in a high school team now. We're going to come follow you there. We are so glad you're doing well. We're so glad we could help uh, you tell this story and RG3 story as well. Mom, thank you. Thank you. Uh, for our awesome crew, I'm Alex Parker. We will see you tomorrow night, 9 o'clock, right here on Toyota Sports Talk. Take care, folks. Live from News Channel 8, this is Toyota Sports Talk.